Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a what I'm writing with video. I haven't done one of these in a little while so I thought I would uh, just sort of put one, uh, put one out and show you what I'm writing with. A little bit of housekeeping just before we get started. Um, there have been a few comments on my videos recently that have been uh, less than nice. Uh, so just letting you know, if you put up comments that are nasty or rude or anything, I will delete them. Uh, if they're really bad, I will report you uh, in your channel or whatever, um, block you and all of that sort of stuff. So let's keep things nice, let's keep things um, kind, let's get this a nice safe space for people to enjoy fountain pens and all the associated stuff. So yeah, I will delete your comments if you are not nice. If they're not related to the to the topics, or re even loosely related to the topic, I will delete them. There you go. Back to what I'm writing with. So the mix of pens today, I've got six pens, and the mix of them are pens are either uh, are inked up for a review uh, or that are... Uh, inked up because I've been traveling. So for instance, the VAC 700R uh, and the A23 both have the shutoff valve for the vacuumatic system, uh, which makes them great for flying. So I travel with those. Um, but let's run through the pens and then I'll do a quick writing sample with each of them. So we have the Twisby VAC 700R with a Bok titanium uh, nib, medium nib. Really cool pen but I hated the nib that came on it. It, was, it just wasn't doing it for me. Not every nib can be amazing, and Twisby generally get it pretty right, but you're not always gonna get it 100%. Um, so uh, yeah, I swapped out for a Bok Titanium nib, and it's beautiful. It's inked with Robert Oster uh, Deep Purple. Then I have the Italics Captain's Commission, which is a really unique pen. Uh, it's inked with Diamond Green Black, and the nib on this is the Medium Italic Right Footed Oblique. So it's a really great nib for left-handed writers, and I really, really enjoy working with it. Then we have the uh, Pilot Custom 823 with uh, the broad nib, uh, and this is inked up with Diamine Oxford Blue. Then I have two pens from uh, Fine Writing Instruments, which is a Taiwanese brand, which these pens are really coming up for review very soon. Um, I have the brass model here. You can see there's a nice patina sort of developing on it. Um, I'll show you more detail on the other angle, but yeah, oh, once I do the writing sample, but yeah, that's the, it's a beautiful pen. Uh, and then I've got, from their Planets series, I have the Satin model, which is a really unique color. It's quite bizarre. Uh, not gonna be to everyone's taste, but I really quite like it. Then we have a new pen from James Finnis, an Australian, pen maker and who runs uh, Pensive Pens, the shop. Uh, James has made these pens, this is the Lithos, Lithos uh, model, uh, and this is the blue version, and it's a really beautiful material, and I think it's a lovely pen. Uh, so a few of these have uh, basic um, Yovo nibs, uh, and uh, standard number six Yovo nibs, lots of mediums, uh, so, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, do a writing sample and I'll show you what I'm... Oh, by the way, that, uh, that's inked with Diamond Burnt Sienna. That's with, inked with Lamy Black. Um, I actually think it looks awesome with black. Like, how cool does that pen look inked? Eyedropper there with black ink. Um, and then this is inked up with Waterman Serenity Blue because why not? It's a beautiful ink and uh, it really matches that pen. So let's do a writing sample and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, let's do a writing sample with uh, these pens. We'll start with the Twisby VAC 700R. Uh, so this is one that came out a couple of years ago, replacing the standard 700. Um, and it's a really nice pen. It's got the good vacuumatic filling system. As I said, it's, um, holds, it holds a lot of ink, it looks great. And it's got a, I put in a uh, Bok Titanium nib there. So we have the Twisby VAC 700R with a Bok Titanium Medium Nib. And the ink here is Robert Oster Deep Purple, which is from one of his recent series uh, of inks, and I think it's a really really cool dark dark purple uh, ink and it sort of dries with this sort of dark purpley gray uh, color which is very very nice next we have the italics captain's commission uh, i've re recently reviewed a couple of italics pens and this one will probably come up for review shortly um, and 
it's just a really nice classy pen um it's yeah italics do these pens are beautiful and this one is it looks like a yovo uh nib that's been branded with italics and reground to this as i said this is a medium italic right foot oblique uh so we have the hopefully i can get the angle right work, working around the tripod here uh the italics captain's Now, as I said, this is a medium italic right foot oblique nib. Uh, so it does get you a little bit of sort of a line variation built in there, but because I tend to roll the pen just a little bit when I write as a left handed writer, this allows me to have a nice sort of purchase on the page. Uh, the ink here is a dialine. green, black. This nib does sing a little bit and I actually quite like it. Um, it's a beautiful nib to write with uh, and a really lovely ink. Great pen, I'm really enjoying it and uh, you'll be seeing more of that, I have no doubt whatsoever. Now to an old favourite which uh, is a favourite of many people and you can see my review of it on this channel, it's the Pilot Custom 823, the beautiful gold nib. Uh, just look at that nib, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, and this is a broad. Uh, so we have the Pilot Custom 823 uh, with a broad nib. And the ink here is the Diamine. Oh, no, I said it wrong. It's not Diamine Oxford Blue. It's a Diamine Colt Pens Deep Dark Blue. Another one of my favourite dark dark blues this one's almost a you know sort of a, a blue black in a lot of ways it's very rich and very um smooth and it's very yeah it's a lovely lovely ink uh when it dries itself it has this sort of nice gray sort of hint to it which works for me a lot next we have a very very interesting pen the fine writing international brass now this is another one of these sort of standard number six so it's a yovo nib that's been branded uh, as is the other one as well. Um, I'm using this one. These can be eyedroppered and all of that. I'm using this one with the converter. The other one's eyedroppered. Um, we have the fine writing international. It's got the brass uh, with a medium nib. And the ink is a diamine burnt sienna. And I love this ink. Uh, at the moment, this ink is a contender for one of my ink of the year sort of things towards the end of the year. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get onto this ink. It's just remarkable. Okay. Next, the other Fine Writing International pen, the Satin from the Planets series. You can see it says Satin there on the cap band. Um, with a cool sort of anodized sort of steel um, furniture. I drop it. Really interesting. The capping system has that sort of cushioning, which we've come to know from a couple of other brands recently. Uh, another number six medium nib from Yovo. So the fine writing international. So planets. Oops. Satin. Satin is the finish, and it is on well, the color. But it's sort of very bright yellow. The ink is Lamy Black. Good standard black, nice easy ink to use. You can get it everywhere, it's affordable, it's reliable, it does the job. And in a pen like this, it's exactly what you want. Uh, and I must say, I'm super impressed with this pen to the point where I'm considering getting another one in one of the other finishes. I just love, love, love this pen. The last pen today is the new James Finnis pen. Now, James, um, runs pensive pens here in Australia uh, and makes his own pens. Uh, he and Robert Oster previously uh, combined forces to make the Serendipity, which is one of my favorite fountain pen utensils or accessories, if you will. Great for, uh, if you want to use an ink, but you don't want to ink up a whole pen. It's just a dip pen, but with a fountain pen feed, which allows you to uh, write just for a little bit longer than a regular dip pen, which is really great. Now, this pen is a standard, uh, it's acrylic, it's a beautiful one. You can see the, the beautiful sort of blues to whites and all the different sort of 
shades. There's a lovely blue down here. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. But there's a lovely sort of shade of sort of blue just, just here, which is just absolutely... I don't know if it's going to come up. Just stunning. Um, this pen is going to get a review uh, in the next uh, few weeks. Um, it's on its first inking. I've had it for a couple of days. It's a standard Yovo new, but it's perfectly fine and acceptable. Uh, it's you know, sort of number six. Um, unbranded. Maybe that'll happen in the future. Um, but, you know, it's a nice light acrylic pen. It fits nicely in the hand. Uh, I have a few thoughts on it, of course, but we'll um, come to that in the review. So this is the... Um, James Finnis. As I said, these pensive pens. This is the Lithos or the Lithos, I have to work out how to say that. This is the blue. And it's a medium, and of course it's a steel nib like um, these two are as well. And as, as is that, which I think was a, as I said, um, the uh, Captain's Commission, I think, was also a uh, Yovo nib. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the ink in this one is Waterman Serenity Blue. Now, this pen writes quite wet. Um, I'm not complaining, I do like pens that write sort of wet, but that's pretty wet. Um, you know, that's a wet pen, uh, which is nice. It's just a standard medium nib. I'm not sure exactly why it writes quite that wet. Um, I said I'm not complaining, but that's the way that one is. So this is a beautiful pen. It's what I've been writing. These are what I've been writing with. Um, as you can see there, so we'll just the Twisby Vac 700R with deep uh, purple from Robert Oster. The Italics Captain's Commission uh, with diamond green black. Pilot Custom 823, uh, which is with the diamond Colt pens, deep dark blue, which you can see now. A little bit of that grey is coming through, but also some of that sheen. Uh, it's one of the few inks I really quite like the sheen on. Uh, Fine Writing International Brass there with Diamond Ben Siena. Fine Writing International Planets Satin uh, Finish uh, with Lamy Black. And then the James Finnis Pensy Pens uh, Lithos, Lithos uh, with Waterman Serenity Blue. So a nice sort of set of pens, some nice inks, uh, and it's been keeping me busy for the last few days. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can contact me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, and you can uh, let me know what you're up to over there. I'd like to see what you're up to. Um, as you can see, this is what I'm up to for the last little while. Uh, and yeah, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if you've got a uh, way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, I'd love to know what you're writing with, so comment down below with what uh, is in your pen case at the moment. Uh, and enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.